All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I do not have the entire vlog crew with me. So, Davis, Alec, Hans, Diesel Dave, because I'm currently in Montana for the 4th of July uh, vacation that my family takes every year. And I'm here at a place that I've been actually really stoked to check out. And that's my friend Rob Bailey's new office building slash warehouse slash just kind of overall fun center. So today's vlog, you guys are gonna like this. It's gonna be a, a kind of a, a multi-part deal. First, we're gonna go through Rob's building, check it out, kind of do a tour of the facility of Flagner Fail. Um, we're gonna talk to Rob a little bit about how he does his business. Um, almost like a sit down type, get some advice from a man who has like paid his dues big time. Um, and Rob is one of the most interesting dudes in the world. He's a musician. He has like tons of music on Spotify. He's had a couple of songs go really big for like movies and stuff. Um, he's, he's a businessman. He is, uh, what you're gonna see here at the end of the vlog, he's a stunt man, um, which is the reason why I'm here today. Uh, <laughs> you guys are gonna love this. Rob has this dirt, this little extra space back here. And uh, he hit me up and he's like, I got an idea. I wanna jump my car. I'm not gonna tell you what car it is yet. He's like, I wanna jump it. So come over, let's build a track. And I'm gonna jump it and it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna build up to that here in a minute, show you guys exactly what Rob's plans are. And uh, like I said, you're gonna be absolutely blown away by the vehicle that he's choosing to jump. Buckle up because today's vlog is gonna be different than usual because I'm the cameraman. I'm doing it all on, on my phone here. Um, Rob has a camera guy here too, who's gonna be uh, filming a little bit, but uh, there's gonna be way less fancy drone shots and like the cinematic feel that Davis has a tendency to make all of our vlogs feel like, which all of us love. Today's gonna be raw, a little bit uncut, unfiltered, and uh, I think you'll like it. So, let's get started. How are you doing this morning? I can't complain. So today, I have a special guest coming, and we are going to jump the 911 in the dirt. I just said that out loud. That's I never insane. thought that's something I would say, but, uh, we're gonna build a massive tabletop and we're building a little dirt track. Uh, we got some, we got a big berm in the back so we don't fly into the lake and we'll see what she does. Who's your guest? Uh, Heavy D. Good old friend Heavy D. Heavy D comes up here and he, uh, he vacations in the Flathead Valley for the 4th of July. So, and of course, he's showing up in a helicopter because why would you drive here if you had a helicopter, right? It's gonna go just as planned. He's gonna come around the turn, whoa, whoa, hit, it, hit the ramp, go like four or five feet in the air, land softly, and then drive off into the distance. I appreciate uh, you saying that. Just flawless. My big concern is that jump is so big. You're gonna get halfway up and stop? Well, that thing just doesn't have any power. <laughs> I know. Like it's so... That's why they built the berm for you, so you can carry I know. 80 miles an hour on the berm. I'm gonna try my, my, bet my best. Cool man. I'm gonna try my darndest. So Heavy D's here. He's a lot more of an expert on stuff like this than I am. So hopefully he can offer some good advice. He comes in really hot for the landing. I'm gonna film it on my cell phone. That was pretty cool. Oh, that's true. And then the helicopter wants to go straight, everything just oh, twists yeah. really fast. Yeah, yeah. Stuff it looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, the car has no power. <laughs> and the transmission, you have to shift really slow. So it's yeah. gonna, if I can get into, I'm gonna get in a second and then probably. Uh, probably like this. You're gonna want the straightest shot out of it you can get because yeah. it's gonna take you a second to get set up for it. So, so I don't do this. This isn't something I normally do, but he like professionally drives monster trucks and does this for a living. So I'm really excited that he's here to give some advice. I'm also nervous he's here because he's gonna push me past my comfortability limits. My limits? Yeah, Push me past my limits. Take all this, cut it up. The car doesn't have that much power. And because it has the bigger wheels on it, it has even less power now. So I'm gonna have to get a lot of speed through that berm yeah. to come here to straighten out to go off this ramp. Oh, no. 
it's not something like a side by side where you just hit it and, and it's there. It's a 1983 911. I don't even know what the horsepower is. We should find that out, right? Definitely. But like the potential of you flying off the berm into the pond is like what? Not the first time. But the problem is when I get warmed up and I get cocky, that's when it's going to happen. So when you see me like, Drew will tell you, Drew, yeah, have Drew explain to you like that is, look that I get. Board, I and he goes, like, Rob has the look and then I crash. Guys, hey, hold on a second. I just got to say, this man right here, Mr. Rob Bailey, is one of my best friends. The dude is just one of the most likable people on earth, highly entertaining. He's got a hell of a lifestyle and he has a YouTube channel where he shows it all. So do me a favor. Go give the man a subscribe. Link is in my description below. Go over to his channel and I promise you, you're not going to regret it. It's like within five minutes of each other. I can draw the plans here. here. Here's the plan. Okay, yeah. so here he's coming in hot. Uh -huh. He's going to jump this thing and he's going to land it like that. Yeah. The worst case scenario is he goes up and he just goes splat. Yeah, or he hits it too fast and he flat lands it over here. Whoa, oh, yeah. Which would be sick though. I mean, that's one where it's like one and done is worth it. We're gonna get your right. parachute set up so that when you're, it's an ocean. Yeah, line. and your you car, your car's got what, like 90 horse? Uh, so it's 172. Okay. In the factory, but it's 38 years old. Okay. And, and it's prepped for off roads, right? Like it's built for. No. <laughs> Rob's got a really nice piece of land right here, though. He's got his new building over there. Dirt. I love your dirt. Thanks, dude. I want to take some of this dirt back home with me. So this is the track. Kind of goes through here, around there. Round out the outside, got a nice berm over there, and then set up for the jump. And then this massive jump that I haven't even seen, like jumps as big in Monster Jam, but it's good, it's fine. It'll be fun. Fourth of July spectacle Yeah, did you, did you tell the town yet? Just tell the townsfolk to come watch the show. We're gonna go, look, you guys wanna go check out the car? Let's go see the car. The look, um, kind of hard to explain, but I think he gets like overconfident when he's driving stuff, anything on wheels, it happens every single time he's on something. He has to like find that limit and then cross it. But he always gets this like little twinkle in his eye right before it happens and he crashes 95% of the time. To loop it. <laughs> to be like, that wasn't high enough. <laughs> Let's do it again. I'm going back for more. All right, so the stunt vehicle here is, is quite the uh, specimen. This thing was, uh, looks like it was designed for like a James Bond type stunt. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's just weird when you call it a stunt vehicle. Well, that's what it's doing. So take, take technically it, it is, is a stunt vehicle. Yeah. Guys, what year is this? It's a 1983, so it's the same age as I am. We're both 38 years old. <laughs> just a couple of... Both of our backs are hurt. A couple of rough old boys. Yup. <laughs> 1983 Porsche 911? 911 SC, so it's not a safari. It looks like a safari. It, it looks, looks like it's like been safari. on safari. It, uh, the safari is built for it. This is apparently just flipped the tie rods. Yeah. Uh, Bilsteins and then just threw big tires on it. So, so th yeah, this is what's getting me right here. I'm just seeing some off-road tires yeah. on a Porsche, which I've never seen before actually. And I've seen a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm glad that I can be there for you. Yeah, I am so happy that I came to Montana for the 4th of July spectacle at Rob Bailey's place. Yeah. Look at this, this thing. So this is the vehicle that is, uh, Supposed to be doing the big jump out there for the big event and uh as you can see the suspension is pretty much just stock you've got just just some stock stuff under there there's more stock stuff over there <laughs> <laughs> and uh you got seat belts lap belts or shoulder belts uh, just or just a normal seat belt okay perfect a steering wheel you got a steering wheel uh the roll cage is oh you don't have the no, i don't have a roll cage because you don't roll or <laughs> stuntmen roll. don't roll the motors back there what's your motor flat four cylinder or something yeah, yeah. We've lost a lot of horsepower over the years i was saying uh -huh. yep it has 120,000 miles original on. motor still original motor okay 120,000 miles which is really impressive it is right for a porsche absolutely yeah yeah somebody drove this hopefully thing. that's not no the that's factor today. it won't be the car's gonna be the limiting factor it's gonna be whether you have the courage right here in my heart to keep it pinned wide open <laughs> this is all up to you he's ready for the task turns out rob has a Fantastic car collection. Is this all of them? This all of them, right? Uh, you got some razors and stuff. Yeah, FJ, you've got Unibob. That's a hot unit right there. I need some freaking 
music. Have an idea. Do you think I'm crazy? I'm done. Tired of fighting with your buddy over the music? I know that I am because Diesel Dave's over here, I'm over there, we're all over the place, and we want the party right there next to us, which is why Cove created this little speaker that's perfect for guys like us. You see, it's Bluetooth, it's rechargeable, got little subwoofers in it, it's got like a seven hour battery, but most important, it does that. I can put one way over here, one way over there, he can hear the music, I can hear the music, or if I'm alone, I can put him right here and get 360 degrees surround sound. Guys, I'm not gonna lie a pretty rad little speaker and Cove is hooking you guys up they're giving you over 67 percent off this unit it's like more than it's like it's like a two for one or better so click the link in my description below and get your hands on these before they're sold out because from what i hear they're probably going to be out before the end of july so make it happen click the link in my description below and thank you Cove, for helping us out All right, so now we're taking a tour of the new flag North Fail headquarters, big office building that Rob has been working his ass off it's locked. to get down. Oh, it's locked, and he doesn't have a key apparently. But he's in stunt driver mode today. He's not in business mode. Look at this thing, though. This is just one hell of a building, and probably my favorite feature is I flew in here the other night. That white ribbon that goes around lights up like, like, like the light inside, like super, super bright. The logo lights up really cool feature i like that who came up with that that was you yeah is that light up too that around that garage yeah so pretty That's much sick. i wanted all the lighting features there's also a uh like a box sign we built of our monogram logo yeah we built that so that there's a car gonna sit under there and there's also we were starting 2010 so 10 is like a good number uh -huh. for us so we went with the roman numeral x for there's a bunch of X's inside you can see, and then it's all at night lit purple too. Oh, that's so it awesome. Purple from the inside. How big is it? So the front is uh, 12,000 mm -hmm. and the back is 18,000. A big building. So you've got warehouse fulfillment for yep. Flagner Fail? Just Flagner Fail, yeah. Okay, not the supplements or anything? Nope, that's another warehouse down the street. And then we're gonna build another building over there. Eventually um, gonna move? Yeah, so we'll do another like, Everything in the same place? Square foot building there. Guys, I don't think you understand how cool this spot is because it's kind of right in the heart of Kalispell. Kalispell Airport is like literally a stone's throw away. You've got Glacier up there. You've got Whitefish right up there where Rob and Dana live. You've got Flathead Lake down there. Like this is a really, really cool of spot. Yeah. It's a really, really good building. Got helicopter parking. <laughs> you didn't even know you had, right? I, now I'm going to buy a helicopter. <laughs> you have to. Rob, bro. Okay, so. We can get in. We're going to get in. All right, uh, Rob just pulled a fast one on me and surprised me with what is definitely my most favorite part of the building here. What do you got there? Car wash. Bro, you built a car wash. Yeah. Now I know you're a genius. Everything in Montana is so muddy, you know? Dude, it's got a drain, it's got built-in pressure washer. All right, I'm officially jealous. This is rad. Yeah, we're gonna see right here. Can't wait. Hey! Oh, thought we were gonna be locked out. Oh, wow, dude. Whoa. All so, right. This is a big deal, Rob. This is, yeah. I didn't realize this. So we have, and we have one more. So these are S-Rock presses. Um, literally the best presses on the market. That so does a lot of shirts. We have two of these. We have a big one, a small one, and then we have another big one we're going to put over here. This is nuts. I've been friends with Rob for a long time, and I don't think I fully understood his whole business operation, but this is, this is legit. These are, uh, these are t-shirt makers. And if you've ever seen the Flagner fail stuff, it's not 
it's not trash. It's really, really high end. Like, like they go the extra mile and you guys spend a ton of money on stuff that like, maybe you shouldn't, but you do because it makes yeah, like it nicer. This, like this time, like this is, we oversprayed, well, we printed this by hand, oversprayed this. We hand distress it all. Like we take a look. It's <laughs> a on. lot of extra hold work. On, hold on, look at this. We hand distress it all. Do you know what that means? First of all, have you ever seen a distressed hoodie? I personally have not. What do you mean? But now. So we go through and we do all the little distressing everywhere with, with a knife. Oh, that's rad. Would normally be. And we do all our packaging. We try to make it look the yeah. presentation as good as possible. Yeah, the packaging's sick. So we print. We have five brands right now. We only operate Flogner Fell out of here, but we have five brands. And we print everything out of there. So, okay. Yeah. And you guys are just barely moving in, right? Yeah. So we, uh, we moved in, but we're still not set up because the contractors still aren't done. So you're not going to start doing business out of here quite yet? No, I mean, we're shipping Flagner Fail out of here. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and, like, we just moved into our offices, but they're, they're not ready. I like this shelving. Okay. They're pretty expensive boxes. Um, I can send you the link, but it makes it all very, very available. And very modular and very yeah. not having to move power racks it, around. We have it sucks. with uh, something called Info Plus. So it tells us where to put everything based on how it's selling. Um, like it, it's, it thinks and you know, really? it's constantly The inventory tracker does? Yeah. This is what I love about Black Nefell, guys. Like Rob was saying, it's like legit nice package. Podcast studio is coming along. Dude. Okay, that's awesome. That's way red. How uh, often are you doing podcasts? Uh, not that often. Not enough, huh? No. But once you have a room. I was doing a lot, and then I stopped, and now I'm trying to get back into it. You got no excuse now. No. So this whole, this whole big gym area is just for you and Dana? Yeah. Hmm. No members. No. Why would we let strangers in here? It's <laughs> a good question. It's a great question. So uh, basketball hoop. Basketball hoop. We're running turf here. Running turf here, and then the garage door goes up, and the turf extends all the way out there. So oh, that's like, rad. In and out sprints and everything. <laughs> And there we have the stunt man in his stunt vehicle. <laughs> Just showing. Touches the ceiling. So that right there is, is, a, is a pretty good sized problem. What do you mean? Well, I'll just heads on ceilings with jumps. Tens. Well, I'm just gonna go like this. Oh, you know what, you're right. Yeah. If you do that, you're fine. Yeah, he's fine. Um, are you nervous for Rob? I am super nervous. I think it's just gonna explode. You think it's just gonna blow yeah. up? What the <laughs> Drew, do you concur? I hope you are. Right. <laughs> yeah, there really we go. Confident. No doubt in my mind, we'll be all right. Got confidence in the brother. Uh, if you're not going to wear a helmet, I don't think gloves or anything you should worry about either. You're probably good. Goggles? You could, you could wear a race catheter, yeah. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go for a ride in the stunt car now with Rob, and we're going to go... Uh, <laughs> we're going to go get an idea of what the course uh, feels like. So, this is going to be absolutely exciting. So, you got to shift the trans pretty slow. Because it's, it's old, which is good for a stunt car. Look at that. I mean, that's, okay, that's not bad. It's a light little car. Ah, oh, dude, you're golden. Think so? Do you have a pillow? Hello? I would do like maybe a. I should probably take my hat. I would. I would tape a, a, a pillow to the ceiling if you have one, but. Tape us. Or just duck. That doesn't sound like that. Yeah, you won't see guys putting their 911s in the dirt like this, but you will see Rob doing it. It's smooth, man. Way smoother than I expected, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're going to hit it about twice this speed. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see if I can use that. All right, let's go see what we can do right now. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can get over that. We're in a Porsche, guys. A classic, a classic Porsche. And it is just taking it, dude. We got Rob Bailey, the race car driver. Like that, it was born to do this. It was born to race. 
So first uh, pass around the track, what are your thoughts? I mean, nothing's broken. We're How'd it feel? Gonna, we're not going to leave first gear, but first gear I think is big enough to get us around this. It pulled pretty good. It uh, it slides pretty good, but it's very soft. Yeah. So like it slides into things and it doesn't come back that fast. Right. But uh, it is a little the, lazy in the rear. All the weights in the back. Yeah. Which makes it for. <laughs> look! Look what we got here. No, listen, because it's a proper stunt vehicle. Because the funny thing is, this is sort of like my fun car, but it's also my dream car. <laughs> Wow, I got showered. <laughs> that was a good roost. Now I just look like look at this. This thing roosts through the turns hard. Like the handling is legit, kind of like a short course truck. It feels very capable and confident. Something's on fire. Yeah, something's... <sighs> is it just a? There shouldn't be anything up hot up front getting hot. You know, unless you got wires rubbing together. Which I don't know how you could have that. <laughs> As Rob's getting showered and dirty, says, "I don't like that at all." That's gonna be. That might be the title of this vlog. Rob Bailey says, "I don't like that at all." So, hey, you know what we should do? Fire extinguisher. I don't have one. We should probably track one down before your big event. Really? <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> Unless you want to watch your dream car go up in flames. Smash down on yeah, me, and then I die. Know. Yeah, but what are those apps for, anyways, though? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Why have them if you're not gonna smash it in a while? Yeah. All right, listen, I'm going for the ultimate, yeah. the ultimate couple goals, test of our marriage, jumping over Dana and 911. Wait, wait. You're going to lay down. Can you do it again so I can see where you land? I just... <laughs> I mean, yeah, if the car starts, I'll do it over and over. <laughs> wow. That's a good operator right there. So old Corey with Eagle River Excavation there, pretty good operator. It's not, that, it's not easy to be precision with a dozer, and he's got it figured out. Making the, the stuntman's jump here just super, super slick. If you're worried about size, I wouldn't be. Does the size matter? Size definitely matters. Yeah. You know, when you get to the point where you have, uh, you know, airplanes flying through here that you're trying to jump over, like a, you know, like a real stuntman. Under the power lines. <laughs> Under the power lines. Like a real man. <laughs> All right. What do you think, Dana? I got you on film. But are you nervous for Rob? <laughs> nah. Nah. Are you, are you nervous for Rob's car? Uh, maybe it's like not. his dream car. That's his baby. You know? He acts like it's not important, and then it is, though. Oh, it's definitely important. Very important, He's right? Lying. He's lying to you. What do you think's going to happen? Uh, you're, you guys are going to kill it. <laughs> that's, I love it. That's, that's, that's just straight confidence right there. Yeah. Corey, you built one uh, hell of a jump, man. Thanks. Nice work. Yeah. I have no doubt in my mind. Now to watch Rob jump there. The thing about Rob is, if he does what he's supposed to, he's just going to take it. Little by little, nice yeah. and mellow. Yeah. Or he's just gonna hit it hard the first time. I think he just needs to hit it hard the first I think time. The jump's pretty forgiving, so yeah. pretty good. All right, fire extinguisher, check. Uh, Seatbelt, check. And then remember when you're, you're, you don't need your gloves, remember? You don't, you're not doing gloves. The biggest thing I'm worried about is literally what's gonna happen to my head, because I'm like, I'm, I'm on the, the Just roof. duck. So I'm gonna duck. Yeah, but you're also gonna fly out of your seat, so you're probably gonna hit your head. Yeah, so I'm gonna take it slow yeah. and see how bad I hit my head. Okay. And then sort of just go from there. You got it, let's go. You got this wing though. <laughs> Mark, I'm what a fun oh, thing. Oh, Robbie's excited. What a fun thing. Man. Party time. <laughs> <laughs> this was his idea though, shockingly. Normally okay. I'd be the one that'd be like, hey, let's, let's jump your Porsche. He's gonna text me. Here it comes. <laughs> yes! That was awesome. How we feeling? We're good. We're a little low on oil pressure for some reason. It's coming back up. Yeah, you're all right. That's it, though. Hey, Bonnie. How's it landed? Really well. Oh, the body? Really well. It feels like I'm going pretty high. Like you're going really high. You went way higher than I thought you were going to on your first hit. Yeah. Matt, you know the most about being high. All right. All right, here I am in my least favorite position ever. Missionary? <laughs> Second least favorite. Okay. Passenger. With Rob Bailey. Rob's a great driver. He's done well. You so taught me everything I know in the I last did. 10 minutes. It's true, and you're doing pretty well. So here we go. Here comes jump number four. Is this number four? I believe so. Biggest thing is keeping your head down. Yeah, because the roofs, you gotta like punch over. Yeah, keep your head so on just a swivel. Good posture and low. This is getting really loosey goosey over here. Yep, nice fine powder. Yes. Makes a sick smoke trail. Oh boy. And you just shoot it off. And then he just straight off. It's gonna be heavier this time. <laughs> Car is 
just made for it. Yeah. And just soaking it up. Definitely with you in it. It's a little bit heavier. Did you feel it? Yeah. Look at Rob Bailey, the rally driver. Hey, yeah. maybe Porsche will see this and be like, that's oh, our guy. Yeah, definitely tag them. That's our guy. Tag them. We need him. I've already given them like $3 million, so. Here we go. Oh, so ah! good. <laughs> the dirt's soft enough, though, that it's not hurting the car. Bro, it's a fancy driver. I'm a stunt car driver. You jumped the port. Looks good. All right, so uh, the first few 911 jumps were very successful. Rob did a great job. He's getting two, three feet of air and flying a solid 20 feet. So we've decided that it's time to up the ante a little bit, which means we're going to dig out a little bit of a trough right in front of the lip, and we're going to park a vehicle in there. So he's going to fly over a parked vehicle. Hey, Rob, I just want you to know I'm really proud of you. That's all that I want. That's it, man. That's all that I You've want. You've made it. I'm really proud of you. You really. You just know that all you need to say is I'm proud of you. You're doing. You you're doing do a really good job, and I'm proud of you. I told, I told yeah, Matthew, I was like, you better coming. come fast. They're starting. They run the largest uh, music festival in the valley. Really? Oh yeah. wow! Called Big Sky Music Festival. Like it crushes. That's a nice machine right there. It's like I, the more extreme, the better. I'm definitely. A, like Gina, you see where she's gone? Way over there. <laughs> the world's a dangerous place. <laughs> the world is a dangerous place. about to do I guess so. <laughs> we're gonna jump my raptor or oh they're gonna jump over my raptor which I swear to god I love this car so much <laughs> but it's gonna be great we're gonna be it's gonna be awesome you look so funny I've been there to teach you look so funny <laughs> How's it going so far? It's going great. Obviously, things have escalated pretty quickly. Started with the jump. Jump was cool, hit it a bunch of times. Rob did a great job. Uh, we dug a little trench, and uh, we were gonna park like a razor in there. But then we're like, well, if we're gonna park something, we might as well park something bigger and more valuable. So Dana is currently sitting in the bed of her Ford Raptor, which is sitting in the trench, which I just jumped in the razor. And uh, to be honest with you, we didn't have as much clearance as we had hoped for. We had, uh, nothing, I'm just saying, this is, today's going great. Thanks for having me out. And the tires on the razor were just right there but the thing is the suspension droops out on the razor whereas the suspension on the 911 stays tucked up so we're fine what? i'm saying you're going to do a great job i'm excited for you it's a big day for you big fourth of july spectacle you called the newspaper <laughs> i already called the paper yep all right and the radio station Are we sending? all right so now now things are exciting we've got dana's raptor sitting in the trench with uh the gals with the two trench girls sitting in there and the uh, the jump is currently dissolving so that's good um but i think it's got one more hit in it right perfect the razor doesn't have any more hits in it that one's done so this should be the grand finale if rob can break his car we'll be good so rob is going to jump over a brand new ford raptor in a 1983 porsche 911 can't say i uh, i saw this one coming Back up just a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Oh, 
Nice! <laughs> I thought he was going way too slow. He was going really Holy slow. shit! Yeah, I'm glad he. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, Nailed it. Oh my God. Faster, faster. The ramp or the the course is like super chewed up and dry oh, now. Yeah, you can't catch traction. So like I can't. Every time I like get it moving, it gets sideways. You could put my raptor on top of that raptor. Bro, look at this shot. <laughs> <laughs> Send that to the newspaper. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Bro, look at this shot. What a great shot. You videoing? Yeah. Dude, I'm actually kind of bummed. Like, um, I was videoing. She didn't put her phone down because she had to hold the flag. But I just, I feel like I wanted it to be even more extreme for myself back there. Like, me just sitting. For a deeper in, in the bed. Wasn't me, it was or the bar and the guys standing up with Dana. Next time. Rob will probably do it again. I bet if you did this again, you'd let me sit and you'd, you'd jump over me again. Thank you. I said that I was kind of wishing I, I could have made it a little more extreme for myself. That was extreme. That was plenty extreme. <laughs> that was. I'm alive. I'm alive. Just barely. We did it. A uh, little bit of peer pressure and we did it. The car held up great, dude. Um, every time it landed, it was cutting off, cutting off, cutting off. And then the final time it cut off for good, and uh, that was just the battery coming loose. It's a, it's a, what, 38 year old 911 that's been just like lazily lifted, and we just sent it over a Raptor and it lived. Today's a pretty good day for me. I feel really, really good. I appreciate you guys being here. Until next time. So, anyways, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure to drop a like and a comment on the video. Let me know what you thought of Rob's big jump, uh, what vehicle you would like to try that in. And always, always, always make sure you're subscribed because every subscriber is automatically entered to win all of our big giveaways. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.